But first, Newport News police are looking for the driver of a van they say hit a teenager on a bike and kept going. And instead of starting school today, that teen is now recovering at a local hospital. This happened Friday night near Jefferson Avenue and Bellwood Road. The teen was riding with a friend at the time. Ten of your sides, Ava Hurdle just got back from talking to one of the detectives. Ava? Nicole, yes, police are looking at a new witness in this case. It's videotape. Cameras were rolling at the businesses near the accident scene off Jefferson Avenue and Bellwood Road. Police have collected those security videos for analysis. It's uh, unacceptable to hit a human being and leave them in the street. But that's what police say happened to a 14-year-old boy around 10 Friday evening. This is the intersection of Bellwood Road and Jefferson Avenue. The teen was riding a bike with a friend in a poorly lit area when he was hit, and the driver kept going. Police have surveillance video from nearby businesses. The video actually shows the van going up the street, dragging a bicycle underneath it. So your uh, damage is going to be to the lower front grill, bumper, and uh, brush guard area underneath the vehicle and possibly the right front tire. He says it appears the vehicle was traveling at the posted 45 mile an hour speed limit. From the scene of area of impact to uh, where the person stopped the vehicle to remove the bicycle was over a thousand feet at night. You know, it's rather difficult to make an identification at that distance. But police believe a maroon van or sports utility vehicle is involved. The videos I've seen, as you can see, a uh, it's like a crossover type vehicle, a Nissan Quest, a Honda Passport uh, type vehicle, dragging a bicycle, uh, leaving sparks. Police continue to analyze the footage. We're going to collect the video, see if we can make an identification, and uh, we're appealing to the public to help us. We need to... This person needs to be held accountable and they need to come forward. And police ask anyone who knows the driver involved or may have seen the damaged vehicle to give the crime line number a call. I'm Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side. Just moments ago, 10 on your side finished interviewing the teen's mother. Listen to her message to whoever hit her son. It's been four days. I know he done seen the news, you know what I'm saying? The buzz, you knew because you took your time to get out the car and move the bicycle and then pull off. You got somebody's child laying up in the hospital fighting for their life. You should at least have enough de decency to step up, you know what I'm saying, and say something. You'll hear more from her coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 10 on Fox 43 and Wavy News 10 at 11. If you saw anything that night, no matter how insignificant, call the crime line.